subscribe to this schedule from the UFC middleweight division. Introducing you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands six feet, one inch tall. He weighed in officially 186 pounds, and in nine professional bouts, he stands perfect with nine victories and no defeats. Fighting out of Belgrade, Serbia, here is the undefeated Dusko Todorovic. What? And across the octagon, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter standing six feet, three inches tall. He too weighed in 186 pounds, and he holds a professional record of 21 victories with 11 defeats. Fighting out of Lansing, Michigan, USA. Here is Dequan, the Tarantula Townsend. And your referee in charge of the action is Jason Herzog. Jason Herzog will call the shots, third man in the octagon as we start the main car. Coming from White Island in Abu Dhabi, Dusko Todorovic. Repping the country of Serbia against Dequan Townsend. And we are underway after the touch of gloves. Todorovic is in the red. He's minus 360 as the favorite this fight clock. Brought to you by the United States Marine Corps. Dequan Townsend's a very good kickboxer. Wow. Oftentimes, people close distance very quickly on him, though, and put pressure. And that left hook from Todorovic yes. connected to the chin. Yeah, it was sneaky, too. He's got that almost karate-style uh -huh. lead roundhouse kick as well. Townsend immediately pulls in the clinch here, trying to close him down. Shot to the body. Todorovic has worked his way off the fence. It was a big left hook. So smooth, too. There's no real big wind-ups no. from Dutorovic. Dusko, yes. Sorry, then. Good work in the body. There's a head position again that we saw in the Contender Series. Inside control. So much experience on the side of Townsend, though. You've got to guess he's been in these positions before. I've seen some really nice neck attacks from him in his early career as well. Oh, that was a good knee. It sounded like a cup. Yeah, I heard a cup there. Yeah. All right, so they're fight on, they say. Todorovic works the body there. Yeah, Todorovic might not want to lose this position, right? He's like, I'll, I'll, I'll eat that cup check just to keep this clinch. Tries to spin him off. I like how Todorovic does that. He does that trip down right to that upper side uh -huh. afterwards. Oh, yeah. Low blow on the other we side. We have says one to one. We got the cup cam over here. Right. We'll pause here, so. <laughs> no, I'm trying I'm trying to lay off the, the cup check count, guys. <laughs> but now that we're talking about it, there's a few tonight already. <laughs> Two minutes into this one. Oh, oh, big swing downs and connects. Yeah, you gotta be careful. You can't just rush in on Daquan. He will he will light you up and he's got a lightning fast jab as well that we've seen in his past fights. Todorovic showing a chin there, ate some heavy shots from Townsend. Each of these guys has landed some big shots through the early going. Another uppercut fired there by Townsend. And what you'll notice from Dushko as well, although he does keep his guard up, when the punches start flying, it's much more about moving his head than blocking the punches. Which is, it's a good thing given the fact that he can make his opponent miss and punish them for it. The bad thing is sometimes you misjudge, miscalculate, and even the best of them get put to sleep sometimes. There's a nice right hand right over the top. lands from Dodorovic. Yeah, really good combinations from Dushko so far. Oh, beautiful that was elbow. Nice. Wrist control to elbow. And he's doing good work to the body as well in this clinch. As you were saying, Paul, he's, he's, he's turning him and then digging that shot to the body. Yeah, he doesn't just settle for one position. He's angling off and trying to move the momentum of his opponent side to side. And then also punch off top of that. That's really high-level stuff there. Ooh! Daquan showing a chin here, just ate that overhand right pretty solid. Todorov is throwing a window right hand. There's a lot of speed to the way that Dushko throws his punches, and I think that may be what's throwing Townsend off. The, the, the point when you realize the punch is coming, the point that it lands, it's very difficult to judge the, yeah. the, the trajectory of it. I wonder if we're going to see Dushko level change here. 35 strikes to eight already in the first three and a half minutes. Chopping low kick from, from uh, Townsend. That may be a smart tactic. Yeah, he's so relaxed, and then he and then he goes with the combination. He looks like he's falling asleep for a second, and then he hits you with a four-piece combo. 
And he has that confidence of an undefeated fighter as well. snapped his whole head back and he just ate it. 40 seconds to go in round number one. If we get to the horn, who knows after an exchange like that, we see that again. Townsend's chin's holding up well so far. And he's still throwing back. This, this striking pressure from Dushko as well will also give that level change much easier for him. Thunderous shots though. He throws that big right, he's landing right. the chin, yeah. I guess while ever he's landing these combinations, he's not going to bother level changing. But certainly the opportunity's there. Some high output and still swinging big. Dushko Todorovic right to the horn. Round two coming up. <laughs> nice. The finals continue tomorrow at 3 on ABC. All set with new Toyo tires. Go! Um, there's a UFC fighter in my truck. That's Francis Ngannou. Every set of Toyo tires comes with toughness. Awesome! So, if I put Toyo tires on my car, I get one too? Yep. I'll take... Him. Yeah! Still got it! Yes! Woo! Yes! Your Next Saturday, top bantamweights lock horns in the main event. Brazilian Dynamo Marlon Marais always looking for a jaw-dropping finish. It won't be easy against the Colorado up-and-comer Corey Sandhagen. The entire night is on ESPN+. Plus. Main card, 8 Eastern prelims start next week at 5. Second round, clearly Dushko Todorovic getting the better of it through the first five minutes. And good cornering as well in the, in the corner of Townsend. I mean, a, a very emphatic speech. You know, you've got to make this a fight. You've got to go after him. That's exactly what you're seeing what now. Doing? Trust that he's in shape and get after it. I mean, great advice because, you know, when you've had 32 fights in mixed martial arts, you, you know you can finish fights. You know, he's got 21 wins on his record. He's been in the UFC a few times now. He knows what it feels like to be in the octagon. So the jitters are out of the way, even though he's not picked up the win that he wanted. Now it's time to go out there and take it. And he's fighting an undefeated fighter, and the benefit in fighting undefeated fighters is that they don't know how it feels to lose just yet. So they'll take risks that they may not take if they've... Uh, if they've been punished a couple of times. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I mean, what we're seeing from Dushko is great head movement, but sometimes people do get paid. Even Anderson Silva, you know, as good as the head movement was, there comes a point when it doesn't work anymore. And what what, uh, what the corner needs from Townsend is for to start throwing those shots. Here we go, now a level change from Dushko. Wow. Big take down. Picks him up to put him down. Beautiful double leg there. Locked his hands, picked him up and took him out to the center, too, so that he's not sitting up against the fence and can work his way right back up. He's going right out in the open. Telling us he hasn't really shown any ground skills in his pro career. It's been mostly all on the feet. And because Townsend came out a little more aggressive here in round two, he found his opportunity. Like you said, Dan, in the first round, he's landing combos, he's rocking down the line up on wrist level changing, but things are working on the feet. The second he's got a little bit of, um, you know, resistance? Eh, I'm gonna try my wrestling now. Let's try some jujitsu. Great work, man. He's gonna fall. Big shots here. Still three minutes to work on top position. He skated over to half guard, and now we'll see if he tries to go into side control. Nearly got it there for a moment. Yeah, he, he's, he, I think he's there. He's gonna slide that knee through. Nice job. He's gonna go right to the mount. Good job from Townsend to avoid that mount, though. Gets, almost gets his thought back. Fighting here now, he's in half guard, and he's just constantly eating shots, and that's what's really preventing him to get back to full guard and getting back up. Because Todorovic isn't just passing and pressuring, he's passing, pressuring, and landing ground yeah. at the same time. The, the characteristics that we see in this show's stand up game is exactly what we've seen on the ground as well a constant work rate, a high pressure. He's looking at landing power right now. Easy now, this is bad news for Townsend. Yeah, Townsend's not oh, bad. He's going to dance a ground and pound. Oh, oh, these are big 